the human population on a global as well as national, regional, and individual scale. These mind control operations include biological operations, including the use of apparent biowarfare mind control agents in the covert global aerosol spraying program chemtrails, and through electromagnetic operations, including HARP mind control weapons applications. These constitute war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide under the Geneva Conventions and the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Number 23, mind control, biological operations, and covert global aerosol spraying chemtrails. According to one uh, source, quote, the term mind control has been applied to any tactic, psychological or otherwise, which can be seen as subverting an individual's sense of control over their own thinking, behavior, emotions, or decision making. By this definition, a powerful global covert mind control program is being carried out against the global national and regional populations, as well as individuals, through the biological operations of covert global aerosol spraying chemtrails. The sprayed aerosols chemtrails contain the following amounts of toxic chemicals. The effect of these toxic chemicals on the mental, psychological, and emotional functioning of the target population is to quote, subvert the individual's sense of control over their own thinking, behavior, emotions, or decision-making, end of quote. Slide 24, HARP and mind control. 2010 air particulates, antimony, arsenic, iron, and manganese. These figures indicate how many times these toxic elements are over the allowable toxic limit? Aluminum, 15.8. Antimony, 63.3. Arsenic, 418. Barium, 5.3. Cadmium, 6. Chromium, 6.4. Copper, 9. Iron, 43.5. Lead, 15.7. Manganese, 513.8. Nickel 10.7, zinc 7.5. These toxic substances in turn lead to and subvert the individual sense of control over their own thinking, behavior, emotions, or decision-making, and constitute the fundament of HARP mind control, biological operations, and covert aerosol spraying. Slide 25. Global aerosol spraying has transformed the atmosphere that our human population breathes into a plasma. Breathing this plasma with the above toxic concentration of chemicals has been shown to lead to the following behavioral abnormalities that, quote, subvert the individual's sense of control over their own thinking, behavior, emotions, or decision-making, end of quote, and hence can be considered a mind control program. Now, I'm going to quote from a colleague of mine who's a presenter at this conference, Dr. Ilya Sandra Perlingeri. The following mind control impacts of aerosol spraying chemtrails are drawn from Dr. Ilya Sandra Perlingeri's uh, preliminary report of February 3rd, 2011 uh, to the Board of Advisors of the Carnicom Institute on the impacts of the covert aerosol spraying program as a biowarfare program. The mind control impacts of manganese 
aerosol spraying chemtrails are number one, hallucinations, forgetfulness, schizophrenia, dullness, headaches, insomnia, languor, sleepiness, weakness, emotional disturbances. And Dr. Pearl and Jerry says, how many people who have caused public disturbances and or have behavioral outbursts are actually suffering from environmental chemical injury due to poisoning from heavy medicals or other toxic chemicals, but are being treated like criminals. End of quote. Slide 26. Cognitive impairment and brain damage. Quote, it is well known that aluminum causes cognitive impairment and brain damage. It takes years for this damage to become evident. During that time, it works its slow but insidious destruction on the brain. But even in the beginning, muddled thinking is noticeable. Why are so many people acting odd? Many more people appear to have a very short fuse. Quote again, why do our children have an epidemic of autism, ADD, ADHD? <coughs> Why are so many of our young children <coughs> on long-term prescription drugs for behavioral cognitive troubles? Why are millions of adults on years of antidepressant drugs? I bring this to the attention of the U.S. presidential candidate, for the Peace and Freedom Party in the audience, Roseanne, uh, whom I have listened to on her announcement and read her platform. And this is a matter that she can bring to the attention of the U.S. and world public on the platform that she now has as a presidential candidate. Thank you. Slide number 27. For other impacts, attention, forgetfulness, short-term memory, impatience. Four things are very obvious. This is again Dr. Perlingeri and her report to the Board of Advisors of the Carnicom Institute. Number one, human attention has dropped dramatically. Number two, people are very forgetful. Number three, short-term memory has been affected. Number four, far too many people are impatient and have very short fuses. For many people, thinking and thought processes are very difficult issues to contemplate and even discuss. No one wants to be told that she, he is not thinking clearly. Even if there are scientific data to support this, it is a concept that goes right to the very heart of who we think we are. It is not you. It is the result of what is being done to all of us. However, it is easier to attack the messenger than comprehend the enormity of military government involvement, especially since nothing is reported by mainstream control news. It is easier to dismiss valid information or be on the defensive rather than take personal responsibility for critical issues that already are detrimentally affecting our lives. Slide number 28. Harp and mind control. Harp chemtrails engendered mood and mind control are supplemented for targeted applications by a mind control software operated through Gwen Towers, police antennas, cell phone towers, cell phones, computers, and other personal electrical devices. Slide number 29. Where are the chemtrail aircraft based, let alone the remote control UFOs? That might be Area 51. We don't know. Edwards Air Force Base, Point M Naval Air Station. That's where the UH-1 H helicopters are based, Nellis Air Force Base, Tucker Air Force Base, Plattsburgh Air Force Base, Andrews Air Force Base, Hickam Air Force Base, Kirkland Air Force Base, Langley Air Force Base, 
the chemtrails flights originating out of Langley Air Force Base are for experimental soups and for laying in on the tri-state area around Washington, D.C., Peterson Air Force Base, OSAN Air Force Base, who is funding Operation Cloverleaf, Operation Rain Dance for chemtrails, answer the National Security Agency, the NSA, otherwise known as No Such Agency. Harp and Mind Control. Yes, it is true that NSA can, tra can remotely track people if they know the sp specific EMF waves evoked potential from EEGs in the 30 to 50 hertz, 5 milliwatt range of each person's bioelectric field. Each person's emissions are unique, just like their fingerprint, palm print, and their voice print. This means that the NSA can remotely track anyone in public. And yes, it is true that the NSA's RNM system can remotely send brain stimulation signals which create visual images, subliminal audios, what appear to be audible sounds and thoughts into people's minds. Yes, it is true that the body suits of implants are used to control people's minds and bodies, as well as track them. Yes, it is true they have voice prints of hundreds of thousands of Americans, or more, and can identify and track their computers, as well as all communications in the United States, as well as other nations. The National Security Agency, this is slide 31, the National Security Agency has a monopoly on monitoring the evoked potentials emitted by people's brain electrical flux, which are electromagnetic emissions in the 30 to 50 hertz milliwatt range. When a person thinks or moves their body or sees something, the brain creates an evoked potential or set of evoked potentials. These emissions can be de decoded to see what the person is thinking or doing. This is called RNM, Remote Neural Monitoring. It is reported that the Kinecom Group at the NSA is involved with this type of monitoring around the clock of victims of electronic mind control using EMF equipment that is scattered across the nation. A signals intelligent EMF scanning network allows the NSA's computers to pinpoint and track any individual in the United States by watching for their specific bioelectric field. In many ways, the tracking implants and the national ID cards are redundant. And the HARP chemtrail system is a major global, Mark Global, with the 17 global HARP stations tool in this global monitoring system. Slide 32, Harp and Mind Control. Naval intelligence and other groups have con conducted research into ELF waves upon the human body and mind. Some of the many things that can be done to the human body and mind with ELF waves include putting a person to sleep, making a person tired and depressed, creating a fear in a person, creating a zombie state, creating a violent state, creating a state of being sexually aggressive, changing cellular chemistry, change hormone levels, inhibit or enhance mRNA synthesis processes, control the DNA transaction process, control biological spin and proton coupling constants in DNA, RNA, and RNA transferences. Slide.